Hey, hey, so you is to your win T E X A S. I resided on every side of the town, but I represent that wish, aka Beneficial Garden. What are you on? What are you on? It's your boy Beneficial the King with a garden update. It's been a minute since I've been back here. I really love you. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm in the Beneficial Garden. This is how I'm living. Great for the blooper reel. Yes, keep it up. All right, y'all, we back. Like I said, it's me, Beneficial the Gardener, a.k.a. Big King Beneficial. Big King? Big King Beneficial. All right. That's what I said, God dang you damn right. Shit. Big King. Anyway, before we get this started, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, do all that so y'all get notifications, share this video, and all that. But today, this is our first video. I'm going to be showing y'all how we do, how we plant corn. Very simple, very easy. So let's go on take it on over here. Got my fork, gonna get it done. All right, so here we're showing you where we planted some corn and the little white particles you see on the ground is crushed eggshells. Now we put the eggshells down because one, it provides nutrients, but it also it was supposed to deter the slugs and snails from eating our plants. However, we have learned that no matter how small you crush them up, it does not work. They just slug right over them. Whatever. Yeah, they just crawl over it. But anyway, back to the video. Got some squash. Got some squash going down here. Uh, baby, what's this right here? That is a grapefruit. That's a grapefruit right there growing. And like I said, today we're going to be doing... Popcorn, right there. Everybody love popcorn. See that? The coat of black popcorn. And we also are going to be planting some peas next to it. The peas help with the corn. Thanks. It provides nitrogen to the soil, which is something that the corn needs. But first, we have to pick our plot, which is right here. Last year we grew corn. It did pretty good. We grew it. Matter of fact, we grew a little dent corn right here. See that? Yeah, I ain't never seen corn like that before. I say that and they call it dent corn. If you look real close, you can see the dent in the corn. That's why they call it dent corn. But this kind of corn, you can't just chuck it and eat it. It's the type of corn that, you know, you have maybe. Cornbread, you ground it up. What she said. So yeah, you can see we took a couple of kernels off. We got some of that growing in the front yard. And we'll, we'll show y'all all that once we do everything. But uh, yeah, this is the plot we gonna, what we got, what, what's up, baby? Over here for the corn? Yes. We're not going to do the corn right here what we did no, last year? No, no. No, no, baby. Because we realized the beans grew very good last year right here, which means that the corn roots will be perfect in that area that have plenty of room to grow. Right here. One eternity later. Beans are in peas over here. We're going to put corn and peas over here, all right? Whatever the corn you say. So, now, this is where we're going to put corn. Right here. <laughs> plot. I'm going to get down here, get the plowing. And uh, we get to plant some corn and some peas. All right. First, got to get some of this up. See this old pole shop away. Yes, this was originally our mulch corner after the first year's green beans didn't produce any fruits. They grew so beautifully, vines and vines and vines, but produced only the vines and beautiful leaves. They were a nice, attractive piece of that corner back there. But this year, we plan on having productive green beans. We're going to make sure of it. Next year, we have some pretty good harvest of green beans, so we're going to have we could just use the we will have one to walk by. All right, cool. Better say this what you want. <laughs> this whole little walkway right here. How many coins you think you're gonna take? Right, you know how. That's what baby says she want. That's what baby gonna get. Not that whole. Yeah, man. Corn can grow very close together. Their roots are not very strong, and their roots this, this, do not go. This is what we gotta deal with right here. This type of stuff right here. The roots do not go very deep into the soil, so them growing in that area will be ideal. Now see this? My whole backyard. All these rocks y'all see. I dug up out this backyard. <laughs> All the rocks around that border came out this backyard. Yes, when we first moved, we were told about the rock issue, and I seen the rock issue as the potential of a very much a huge rock solution. Look at all this. 
we've been using rocks this year to mulch. And what we do, we put down our chop, chopped lawn clippings and grass, um, whatever type of weeds we have, and we just throw it on top of our soil. Then we throw the rocks on top, and the rocks actually, the pressure from the rocks helps the grass decompose faster, and it actually keeps quite a bit of moisture. So we haven't really watered back here. It's been raining for the last several days. Stomach. All right, we're back. Doug. All these dirty rocks right here, I dug up by this hill. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get our corn planted. We're gonna plant our peas right with it. And what I'm gonna do, they got, you know, instructions for spacing, but I don't like instructions. I'm gonna do what I do. Because I've been successful doing what I do. So I like to get my hands dirty. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna find a couple holes, bang. Bam, and bam. Y'all want it too deep? Probably in between about a inch and a half and two inches. That's how far down you want to go with the corn. Uh, redo these holes. Yeah, right there. When you plant the corn, let me show you what these seeds look like. Yeah, that's popcorn right there. That's that popcorn. What y'all know about that popcorn? On here, that popcorn right there. You take this off here, get dirty. And what you want to do, what you want to try to do, is when you plant it, the pointy part of the seed, you want it facing down into the dirt. So that's what we're gonna do. Drop them in now. Bow. Bow. A little deeper on that one. Wow. Make sure you do go deep enough because corn roots do not go very deep. And when the winds, what well, we're at is in North Texas, so when the winds get really blowing out here, um, because they blow very good, we got a couple tornadoes. One almost blew me and my children away. So they'll get to leaning over and they will fall down on you because their roots are not very deep and they're not very strong. So just make sure you plant them deep enough. Like I said, two and a half, one and a half to two inches deep, about how far you want to go. Corn grows very good out here. We got worms over here. See if you can get that worm right there. When we first moved here, we didn't have any worms in the backyard. All we had was these little beetles that eat up the roots of plants. And, like, maybe I might have seen some moths. What they call them moths in their cocoons? That's another, was that another one? No. It would be, like, little moths that would be in the ground. Kind of buried. We didn't know what they were at first. But, you know, Google. You know, Google will set you free. But yeah, since we've been here and been putting nutrients into the ground, like compost, we'll get mushroom compost, or um, we put our food scraps, we cut and drop our crops. We do pretty much all that. We also get plant, plant food and Epsom salt to put for all of our fruits and vegetables. I say, on the back, they got instructions how you're supposed to do it. I'm going to do what I want to do. I can usually tell by the size of the seed how deep it needs to go. Little tiny seed. And we're back after a scam likely tried to cut us off from you guys. The nerve of them. They seen us trying to give you this beneficial information. And they want to slow the progress. But yeah, you can pretty much look at the seeds and tell if they need to go deep or not. You're not going to put a teeny tiny seed an inch and a half to two inches deep. You usually look at the seed and if the seed is maybe the size of a tiny basil seed, you would plant that about one fourth inch deep into the dirt. Which means it'll be barely on the surface of the dirt. You can put it on the dirt and throw some soil on top of it and let it grow. And King is just finishing up planting these peas. Peas add nitrogen to the soil. Pretty much any bean will do the trick. And now we go, y'all. All I'm going to do, cover these holes up. Come here, water it. I'm going to stick some plastic forks in here with things sticking up. Some of them pesky little treacherous cats come in my garden. That might get, you know. But anyway, that's it, y'all. Until we meet again. Have a beneficial day. Weekly updates. Remember, like comment do all that subscribe and we'll be back next week deuces